The most common example of chromatography is paper chromatography, where the stationary phase is paper and a substance is dissolved in a solvent, which acts as the mobile phase. The paper is placed vertically into a small volume of the mobile phase, and as the solvent moves up the paper, the dissolved substances in it will absorb onto the paper before dissolving from the paper and re-dissolving in the solvent, re-entering the mobile phase and travelling up the paper. They will then temporarily absorb back onto the stationary phase again and repeat the process upwards. The less time the substance spends in the stationary phase, the faster it will move up the paper. Comparisons between the distance travelled by the solvent and the distance travelled by a sample, in the same amount of time, enable substances to be easily identified. RF values are used to describe these distances, and the RF value of a substance is calculated by taking the distance travelled by the substance and dividing it by the distance travelled by the solvent, also referred to as the solvent front. Both of these distances have to be travelled in the same amount of time. Values will always be between 0 and 1, and the greater an RF value, the greater the affinity the substance has for the mobile phase. Different solvents can be used depending on the substances being studied, 